In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. Lord, fill our hearts with your love, and as you reveal to us by an angel the coming of your Son in human form, so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many na nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich has sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has come to the help of His servant Israel, for He has remembered His promise of mercy, the promise He made to our fathers, to Abraham and His children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had ascended to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olives near Jerusalem, a mere Sabbath journey away. Entering the city, they went to the upstairs room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alpaeus, Simon, the Zealot party member, and Judas, son of James. Together, they devoted themselves to constant prayer. There were some women in their company, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, 
and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Upon arriving, the angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored daughter. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. She was deeply troubled by his words and wondered what his greeting meant. The angel went on to say to her, Do not fear, Mary. You have found favor with God. You shall conceive and bear a son and give him the name of Jesus. Great will be his dignity, and he will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of David his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever and his reign will be without end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know man? The angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Hence the holy offspring to be born will be called Son of God. Know that Elizabeth, your kinswoman, has conceived a son in her old age. She who was thought to be sterile is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary said, I am the handmaid servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. With that, the angel left her. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit him. Magandang umaga, mga kapatid. Marahil naalala nyo pa noong nakaraang taon. Malamang kilala natin lahat siya. Ang pangalan niya ay si Hidilin Diaz. Ang kauna-unahang Pilipino na tumanggap ng gold medal o nagkamit ng gold medal sa Olympics. Kung kayo ay bahagi ng mga sumusubaybay nung panahon na yon, ako ay sumubaybay nung panahon na yon, ay hindi mo maiwasang maramdaman na maging proud, hindi ba? Kaya nga sa social media, lahat mga nagsusulat, proud Filipino. Bakit? Sapagkat consider natin na siya ay bahagi natin at tayo ay bahagi niya. At ano man ang kanyang nakamit, ay daladala niya tayo, daladala niya ang ating bansa. Dahil sa kanya, narinig ang ating pambansang awit sa Olympics. Masaya tayo kahit sa gitna ng pandemya ay nakaranas tayo ng kahit kakaunting pagdiriwang, liwanag, kasiyahan. Parang tumaas ang ating spirit nabuhayan tayo ng kalooban sapagkat hindi lang nanalo si Hidilin Diaz alam din natin kung ano ang kanya mga pinagdaanan pinaghirapan yun malaking sakripisyo pinaghandaan kaya may mga katangian hindi lang yung pagkamit ng, ng gintong medalya kung hindi kung paano niya ito narating at paano niya ito nakamit kaya siya ay parang naging icon ng inspiration natin, lalong-lalo na sa mga atletang 
Pilipino. Mga kapatid, anong kaugdayan sa ating pagdiriwang ngayon? Ngayon ay kapistahan ng uh, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Pinagdiriwang din natin ng isang babae na merong lugar sa kasaysayan. Hindi lang sa larangan ng sports, mas malawak pa diyan, mas malaki ang kanyang lugar at ito ay ang lugar ng kasaysayan ng kaligtasan. Siya ang una sa ating lahat. Una saan? Una sa pagtanggap, pagkilala sa ating tagapagligtas ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya hindi siya may higitan. Siya ang unang bidiyayaan at hindi lang yan. Si, ang sabi ng Angel, ikaw ay pinagpala sa babaeng lahat. Ganun ang lugar ni Maria kung kaya nga ba't kaya nating ipagdiwang ang isang Hidilin Diaz dahil siya yung naging inspirasyon sa atin, lalong-lalo na ang ating mahal na ina. Kaya nga ba't kung sinasabi nila proud Pilipino, pwede rin nating sabihin, Proud Marian, Proud Christian. Proud Marian dahil siya ang unang biniyayaan at siya ay naging biyaya sa iba. Gifted to give. Pamilyar ba yung linya na yan? Yan yung tema ng selebrasyon ng pagdiriwang ng pagdating ng Kristiyanidad sa Pilipinas 501 years ago. Last year sana yung celebration, ngunit in-extend pa yan sa taon na ito. Kaya pinagdiriwang pa rin natin ang 500 years of Christianity. At ang pagdating ng Kristiyanidad sa Pilipinas, natitiyak natin kasama ang debosyon sa ating mahal na ina sapagkat sa ating simbahang katoliko ay hindi natin pinaghihiwalay na yan. Kung nasaan si Kristo, naroon ang kanyang ina. Naroon ang kanyang ina, nariyan si Kristo. Kaya kung naghahanap tayo ng larawan ng isang biniyayaan, isang gifted person, si Maria. But she was gifted to give. Sa madalit salita, mga kapatid, siya ay naging biyaya sa atin. Kaya nga malakas ang loob nating pumarito. Kaya tayo'y puno ng pag-asa sa ating mga panalangin sapagkat ang mahal na inang tinatawag natin, alam natin, ay hindi lang tumanggap ng biyaya at naging biyaya sa iba. Many years ago, nagkaroon ng plenary council sa Pilipinas at sa dokumentong naging produkto na ito, merong isang description si Mary na gustong gusto ko. Ang sabi doon, Mary has always been a giver of Jesus. Kahit saan si Maria, ang kanyang buhay ay nakalaan hindi lang sa pagtanggap kay Jesus, kung hindi kung saan siya pumunta, daladala niya si Jesus at ito'y binabahagi niya sa iba. Kaya para sa ating pagmumuni-muni, mga kapatid, natitiya po sa ating pagparito, nais nating mabiyayaan, hindi ba? Nais nating pagkalugdan tayo ng Diyos. At huwag tayong kalimutan sa gitna ng ating mga pangangailangan. Pero, mga kapatid, kung talagang si Maria ay susundan natin, Hanggang doon lamang ba sa pagtanggap? Kasama ba sa ating pag-iisip, sa ating pagdarasal, na tayo din ay sana'y maging biyaya sa iba? Hindi ba mas higit, na, mas higit ito na hindi lang tayo tumanggap at nagtapos sa atin ng lahat? Kung hindi sa ating paglalakbay sa buhay, Marami tayong nabibiyayaan na tao. Naiimagine ba natin mga kapatid kung ang bawat Pilipino ay nagiging biyaya sa iba, sa kanyang pamilya, 
sa kanyang kaibigan, sa kanyang kapwa, sa kanyang bayan, sa simbahan. Yan ang larawan ni Maria, mga kapatid. Hindi lang tumanggap kay Jesus, hindi lang biniyayaan ng Diyos, kung hindi siya ay mismo naging biyaya sa sangkatauhan. Pinagpala ka sa babaeng lahat. Palagi nating dinarasal yan. Pinagpala ang iyong anak ni Jesus. Ngunit siya rin mismo, dala-dala niya ang Panginoong tagapagligtas sa kanyang buhay, sa kanyang bayan. Kaya sa ating pagdiriwang mga kapatid, muli natin balikan si Maria. Bakit tayo naririto? Bakit tayo umaasa sa Kanya? Ano ba ang Kanyang lugar sa kasaysayan ng kaligtasan? Gaano siya kahalaga sa mata ng Diyos? Bakit gano'n na lamang ang pagbati ng anghel sa Kanya? Sa Diyos nang galing ang pagkilala kay Maria, pinagpala ka sa mabayang lahat. Siya ang hinirang, siya ang pinili. Tumugon si Maria, tinanggap niya ang hamon ng Diyos. At ang bunga nito, tayo ngayon ay nabibiyayaan. Matatapos pa ito sa atin? O ipagpapatuloy natin ang patuloy na pagbibigay biyaya ng Diyos sa ating bayan at sa sanlibutan? May pag-aasa mga kapatid. May pag-aasa ang bayan. May pag-aasa tayong lahat sapagkat mapagkakatiwalaan ang ating inaasahan at sila na nanatiling halimbawa sa ating lahat. Ang ating panalangin sa misang ito, ano man ang daradala nyo sa buhay, ano man ang inyong dinarasal, ipagdarasal natin sa misang ito. Naway, palugdan tayo ng Diyos, biyayaan tayo lahat, ulit dagdagan natin Panginoon, paglabas namin sa simbahan dito, tulungan mo din kami maging biyaya sa ibang tao. Please stand. With the prayer of the Blessed Virgin Mary as our model, let us give praise to God and present our needs. Let us ask Him and say, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all the members of the Church, may they look up to Mary as their mother and live as worthy children of so noble a mother. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For national leaders, may they strive to further justice, peace, and the common good of the citizenry. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For the sick and the abandoned, may they feel in their sufferings and needs and the protection and maternal presence of the Virgin Mary, let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all who devoutly recite the rosary, may they be drawn closer to God through this prayer, let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us. For all of us who celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, May we, like Mary, praise God, recognize His might and mercy, and remain faithful to Him until death. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For the intentions of Brother Enrico Ignacio, who is celebrating his birthday today, let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass, and for the intentions of all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. 
Isaman din natin sa ating panalangin, special intention, ang aming kapatid na pare, si Father Bobs Mara. Siya po ay tubong uh, manawa. At ang kanyang kasabay na pare, si Father Ed Alaurin, nagdiriwang po sila ng kanilang pang 37th year anniversary ng kanilang ordination bilang pare. Naway biyayaan po sila ng mahabang panahon na puno ng grasya uh, at tuwa at mayaman na mayabong na ministry. We pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede for us, us, Lord. Father, you sent your son to be born of a woman, Mary. Grant that our devotion to her may draw us closer to your Son, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept these gifts as we celebrate the mysteries of your Son. May we become worthy of the eternal life He promises, who lives and reigns with you, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. On this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we praise, bless, and proclaim your name consenting to the divine word mary became the mother of god embracing her saving will she became the handmaid of the lord devoting herself to the life and work of your son mary cooperated in the mystery of redemption because of this she stands before us mother and model of the church now gathered by the spirit with one voice we join with mary and all the saints in their triumphant hymn of praise.
Dios. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to the world and bring her their political charity. Together, fancies our Pope, uh, Socrates, Archbishop, Philemon, Prior Provincial, Philippine Dominican Province. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Dominic, have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ.
Please kneel for the prayer for the election. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinations of nations. Let us pray together and say, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this Eucharist, we have proclaimed the death of the resurrection of Christ and resurrection of Christ. As we ponder these same mysteries in the Rosary, help us to proclaim them to your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, we invite you to participate in today's culminating liturgical activities. 3.30 p.m. Praying of the Rosary, 4 p.m. Holy Mass with Archbishop Socrates Villegas Didi. And immediately after the Mass, there will be presentations of Dominican saints and the enshrinement of Our Lady of the Rosary, Our Lady of Manawa. You may participate in our liturgical celebrations online through our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, and Facebook page. Thank you very much and happy fiesta. Word of thanks. The Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag would like to thank Reverend Father Felimon I. de la Cruz Jr. O.P. for presiding over the Mass today. We thank everyone, all the servers and participants of this Holy Mass, all pilgrims and sponsors of our Novena Masses. Maraming salamat po. May Our Lady of the Rosary, Holy Rosary of Manawag, intercede for us. Please stand. I forgot to mention, pakidasal lang po and pakibless din po ang aming brother na si Brother Henry. He is an aspiring priest and he is actually from Indonesia. Papadasal din po. And then to my right is an Aldovinican priest from... Actually, siyam po silang seminarista na nandito sa Manawag na from Indonesia. Kaya yung nakikita nyo nagpakumunyon, you might think they are Filipinos, but actually they are Indonesians po. And then to my right is Father Roy from Santo Domingo, Quezon City po. The Lord be with you. And with yours. Spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Son of God, redeemed the human race, may He enrich you with His blessings. Amen. You receive the author of life through Mary. May you always rejoice in her loving care. Amen. You have come to rejoice at Mary's feast. May you be filled with the joy of the Spirit and the gifts of eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, 
come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will greatly bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.